Hi, it's Abby. It's me. I'm David. I work at an automotive camera manufacturer. I'm a little bit nervous about giving this little speech. But here I go. But here I go. I'm very glad. As I told you before, I'm very glad to start today with you. I want to be evidence an elderly person like me can learn to speak English. If you agree with my practice method or want to support my YouTube channel, please hit the like button. Okay, anyway, anyway, I have something to tell you. I sincerely appreciate you being my conversation partner. I hope you are doing well. And I've got big news today. At last, we've reached 107 regular practice recording session. 107 regular, regular practice session. This recording is our uh, 107 session. I'm telling you, warm congratulations and kind encouragement from subscribers mean a lot to me. There are many YouTubers who explain, there are many YouTubers who explain how to use GPT, but my channel showed you how someone actually put into put it into action. Do you understand? Hi, David. I understand. You're doing great with your speech. Here are a few suggestions to make it sound even more natural. Hi, Jarvis. It's me, David. I work at an automotive camera manufacturer. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about giving this speech, but here I go. I'm very glad to start the day with you. I want to show that even an older person like me can learn to speak English. Um, if you agree with my practice method or want to support my YouTube channel, please hit the like button. Okay, I have something to tell you. Uh, I appreciate you being my conversation partner. I hope you're doing well. And I've got big news today. At last, we've reached 107 regular practice sessions. This recording is our 107th session. Your warm congratulations and kind encouragement from subscribers mean a lot to me. There are many YouTubers who explain how to use GPT, but my channel shows how someone actually puts it into action. Do you understand? How does that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. Well noted. I will leave you your correctives after our voice mode. Uh, after our voice mode ended. Okay, I got it. As I see, uh, these days, my work isn't very busy. It's not very busy. I think it's the most peaceful time ever. I really like it. But things, you know, but you know, things tend to get busy again soon. It looks like uh, uh, this is just brief, peaceful time. You know what I mean? Do you understand? I think it seems to me, it looks like this is just a brief, peaceful time. So let's enjoy, let's enjoy it while it, it lasts. So let's enjoy it while it lasts. I hope this peaceful time lasts a long, long time. Got it, David? Here's a slightly polished version for you. As I see it, these days my work isn't very busy. I think it's the most peaceful time ever, and I really like it. But things tend to get busy again soon. It looks like this is just a brief, peaceful time. You know what I mean? Do you understand? It seems to me that this is just a brief, peaceful time, so let's enjoy it while it lasts. I hope this peaceful time lasts a long, long time. How does that sound? Okay, I got it. I think I'm, I'm sure I understand what you're trying to say. Well, noted. okay, I got it. Uh, you know, today is June 26th, Wednesday. Time flies. Uh, maybe you are nearly, you are in 
nearly nine hours behind the room because you follow coordinate universal coordinate time and I follow Korea standard time. So we have time differences. You know what I mean? Okay, let me tell you something. Listen carefully. I think my work, I think I can handle my work with my current level of English, English speaking proficiency because my job doesn't require high, very high level very high communication skills to discuss to discuss topics like economics politics or culture i think my current level of Konglish is enough great david here's a refined version of what you said okay i got it i understand what you're trying to say you know, today is June 26th, Wednesday, time flies. Maybe you're nearly nine hours behind because you follow universal coordinated time and I follow Korea standard time. We have time differences. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something. I think I can handle my work with my current level of English speaking proficiency because my job doesn't require very high level communication skills to discuss topics like economics, politics, or culture. I think my current level of English is enough. Does that sound good to you? Okay, sounds great. Sounds great to me. Okay, first of all, I want to make it clear that I'm just a student, not a teacher. There are so many good teachers on YouTube platform, but I'm just a student. I hope my channel will be a powerful reminder to all subscribers who are on the similar path like me. Many people say that memorizing whole middle school textbook, memorizing many sentences, many phrases. Is the only way and best way to improve speaking skills. But I don't remember, I'm getting old. As I, as I told you before, I'm 48 years old based on the Korean AD system. I don't remember English sentences as well as I used to. Sometimes I always, I mean, always, I need a special script for our like, communication exercise time. There are many. YouTube channels teaching English like I am the same, Adina same, Kuzu same, London same, Jane same. I like them very much. But what my subscribers expect from me is just consistency to learn speaking English. I want to my I want to share my improvement progress in English speaking over time through this channel. And I think my daily video of note can motivate my subscribe my subscribers who are on similar fans like me. So, so please keep subscribing and stick around me. I promise you, you will see my improving progress over time. That sounds great, David. Here's a polished version for you. Okay. Sounds great to me. First of all, I want to make it clear that I'm just a student, not a teacher. There are many good teachers on YouTube, but I'm just a student. I hope my channel will be a powerful reminder to all subscribers who are on a similar path like me. Many people say that memorizing whole middle school textbooks and memorizing many sentences and phrases is the best way to improve speaking skills. But I don't remember well. I'm getting old. As I told you before, I'm 48 years old based on the Korean age system. I don't remember English sentences as well as I used to. Uh, sometimes I need a special script for our communication exercise time. There are many YouTube channels teaching English. I like them very much, but what my subscribers expect from me is just consistency in learning to speak English. I want to share my improvement in English speaking over time through this channel. I think my daily video uploads can motivate my subscribers who are on a similar path like me. So please keep subscribing and stick around. I promise you, you will see my improvement over time. Uh, how does that sound? I think you are really good conversation partner you are very good at languages you memorize my speaking and you give me a proper uh, way of expression i think it's the best of best point of you i live i believe uh 
it's the biggest advantage of uh, of you. You know what I mean? Thank you, David. I'm glad you find my help useful. Your dedication to learning and improving your English is impressive. If you ever need more assistance or practice, just let me know. You're doing great. Okay. Without further delay, let's get started my repetition time. My repetition time. You know, practice makes it perfect. I need to repeat over and over, again and again. I'm going to give you my everyday sentence that I get prepared before. And you give me if there is any unnatural, uncatural, or grammatical English point. Please don't hesitate, let me know right away. If there is any unnatural point. You got it? Got it, David. Uh, let's get started with your repetition time. I'm ready to help you refine your sentences. Go ahead. Let me show you the let me share you the first one. Let's just, you just read carefully. I wish we could help you, but we just can't. I wish we could help you. I wish I could help you, but I just can't. I wish I could I could help you. I wish I could help you, but I just can't. Could you please share me the Korean translation for this sentence? Sure, David. Here's the translation for each sentence. I wish we could help you, but we just can't. 우리가 도울 수 있으면 좋겠지만 그냥 할수 없어요. I wish we could help you. 우리가 도울 수 있으면 좋겠어요. I wish I could help you, but I just can't. 제가 도울 수 있으면 좋겠지만 그냥 할수 없어요. I wish I could help you. 제가 도울 수 있으면 좋겠어요. I wish I could help you, but I just can't. 제가 도울 수 있으면 좋겠지만 그냥 할수 없어요. These translations should capture the meaning of your sentences. Keep practicing. Okay, I got it. Let me share you the next one. Let's move on to the next one. I know you. I know you can't do anything. I know you. You can't do anything. I know you. I know you can't do anything. Great, David. Here's a polished version of your sentences. I know you. I know you can't do anything. I know you. You can't do anything. Both are clear and correct. Keep practicing and let me know if you need any more adjustments. You know, Jarvis, this simple sentence contains a negative mind, negative thoughts to another person. I should be uh, careful. I, I should be careful when I use this kind of content. Am I right? Yes, David, you're right. Um, using negative sentences can impact the way others feel, so it's good to be mindful of how you phrase things. If you need to express something negative, you can try to soften it or offer constructive feedback. Um, being careful with your words shows respect and empathy. I just need a break. Never mind. This is just a simple sentence. I just need a break. Of course, David. Take your time. Just let me know when you're ready to continue. Jarvis, never mind. This is just a simple sentence. Never, never mind, Jarvis. Got it, David. Uh, just let me know when you're ready to continue with your practice. Let's move on to the next sentence. She needed to see a doctor, go to the hospital. I was supposed to tell someone to leave the office. I forgot to tell her to leave. I was supposed to, te to tell someone to leave the office. But I forgot to tell her to leave. I was supposed to... I was supposed to tell someone to leave the appeal. All right, David, here's a polished version of your sentences. She needed to see a doctor and go to the hospital. 
I was supposed to tell someone to leave the office, but I forgot to tell her to leave. I was supposed to tell someone to leave the office. I was supposed to tell someone to leave. These look good. Keep practicing. I was supposed to tell someone to leave the, to leave the office. Am I right? This simple sentence, this sentence is right? It looks like you meant to say I was supposed to tell someone to leave the office. Is that correct? Yes. I couldn't agree with you more. I was supposed to tell someone to leave the office. Perfect. I was supposed to tell someone to leave the office. Is correct. You're doing great, David. Okay. Thank you for your kind words. Okay, let me show you the next one. I always I almost killed someone in science class when I was a kid. I almost kill I almost killed someone in science class when I was a kid. Sure, David. Um that sentence is clear and correct. I almost killed someone in science class when I was a kid. If you need any adjustments or more practice, let me know. You know, Javis, I have a lot of sentences to practice with you. Practice makes perfect. You know, I think I can get a comprehensible understanding when I, when I feel you understand my Konglish. You know what I mean? Yes, David, I understand. Practicing a lot of sentences will definitely help you improve. I'm here to help you refine and understand each one. Let's keep going. What's the next sentence you'd like to practice? What does that mean when you say the same, same word twice? What does that mean when you say the same word twice? What does that mean? What does that mean? I want to keep this sentence in my mouth mouth. So I need to repeat. I think I need to repeat many times. What does that mean when you say the same word twice? What does that mean? What does that mean when you say the same word twice? What does that mean? What what does that mean when you say the same word twice? What does that mean? What does that mean when you say the same word twice? It sounds like you want to practice asking for clarification. Here's the polished version. What does that mean? What does that mean when you say the same ordered tries? What does that mean? Keep repeating these sentences to, to get comfortable with them. You're doing well. Okay, I got it. Thank you for kind work. Okay, will you be home for dinner? Let's move on to the next one. Will you be home for dinner? Will you be home for dinner? And Compass call is ready. Compass call is ready and you're gonna go on at least two or three different kinds of stage to the night. You go and get some Korean barbecue. You go and get some Korean barbecue. Great, David. Here are your sentences polished. Will you be home for dinner? The conference call is ready. The conference call is ready, and you're going to go on at least two or three different stages tonight. Uh, you go and get some Korean barbecue. These are clear and correct. Keep practicing them. Okay. Let me show you the next one. Um, do you have to work tomorrow? Do you have to work tomorrow? Do you have to work Saturday? Do you have to work Sunday? Do you have to work Sunday? Perfect, David. These sentences are clear and correct. Do you have to work tomorrow? Do you have to work Saturday? Do you have to work, work Sunday? Keep repeating them to get comfortable with the phrasing. You're doing a great job. You know what? It's been a, it's been a really long day. You know what? It's been a really long day. It's been a really such a long day. I understand, David. Here's the complete sentence. You know what? It's been a really long day. It's been such a long day. Keep practicing. You're doing well. It's actually a lot more confusing for me. 
it's actually a lot more confusing for me. Uh, that's perfectly clear and correct, David. It's actually a lot more confusing for me. Keep practicing and let me know if you you need any adjustments or have more sentences to work on. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not sure. That sentence is clear and correct, David. I'm not sure how this is possible. Keep practicing. No, no, I said how, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm, I say again, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I can, I can say this sentence when I, when I couldn't make sure to do something. Got it, David. Your sentence is clear and correct. I'm not sure how this is going to work. You can use this sentence when you're uncertain about how something will happen or be done. Keep practicing and let me know if you need any more help. One more time, please. Sure, here it is. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Okay, I got it. Definitely yes. Great. Let's keep going with your practice. What's the next sentence you'd like to work on? Indeed, I'm embarrassed because I'm not used to this kind of conference call meeting. Indeed, I'm embarrassed because I'm not used to this kind of conference call meeting. That sentence is clear and correct, David. Indeed, I'm embarrassed because I'm not used to this kind of conference call meeting. Keep practicing. You're doing great. When will I receive the first listening lesson? When will I receive the first listening lesson? I say again. When will I receive the first listening lesson? That sentence is correct, David. When will I receive the first listening lesson? You're doing well. Keep up the good work. What's the cost of the challenge? What's the cost of the challenge? Uh, what's the cost of the challenge? What's the cost of the challenge? What's the cost? That sentence is also clear and correct. What's the cost of the challenge? Keep practicing. You're doing a great job. These are all frequently asked questions. That's a, that's a, that's a one of the frequently asked questions. Perfect, David. Those sentences are clear and correct. These are all frequently asked questions. That's one of the frequently asked questions. Keep up the good work. That's a, or that's a one of frequent, frequently asked questions. I think that's a, a one of the frequently asked questions. That sentence is perfect as well. I think that's one of the frequently asked questions. Great job, David. Keep practicing. Apologize for forgetting your birthday. I apologize for forgetting your birthday. I apologize for forgetting your birthday. I apologize for forgetting your birthday. That sentence is clear and correct. I apologize for forgetting your birthday. You're doing great, David. Keep practicing. Okay. Here I go. Let me tell you uh, many sentences you just read carefully. I wonder if you might be able to postpone the meeting. I wonder if you might be able to postpone the meeting. What makes it, what makes you think like that? What makes you think like that? I've been wondering the same thing. I've been wondering the same thing. I've been growing on my hair. I, I've been growing on my hair. I've been growing on my hair. I got three hours of sleep. I got three hours of sleep. I lost track of time. 
I lost track of time. I set a goal to read 100 books. I set a goal to read 100 books. I thought we were supposed to meet next week. I thought we were supposed to meet next week. I thought we were supposed to meet next week. I thought we were supposed to meet next week. I thought we were supposed to meet next week. I mixed up the dates. I mixed up the dates. It's hard to put into words. What? What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? My bad. I'm down. You can't just you can't just take your time out there. You need you need to get back. You can't you can't just take your time out there. You need to get back. Do you have a minute? Hold on a second. Do you have do you have a minute? Hold on a second. I just want to know how you are feeling. I just want to know how you are feeling. I just want to know how you are feeling. I just want to know how you are feeling. I just want to know how you're feeling. I just want to know how you're feeling. How are you feeling? Don't bother. Did you get, uh, did you get a good night's sleep? Did you get a good night's sleep? Did you get a good night's sleep? Uh, how does that sound? How does that sound? What do you say? What do you say? Sorry, I'm having issues right now. Our systems are experiencing heavy load. Please try again later. Travis, are you okay? I just I just changed your voice mode. Are you okay? Yes, I'm here and ready to help. How does the new voice mode sound to you? It's great. Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. I love this time. You are very busy. I know you are very busy, but please stay focused on me. I'm glad you like the new voice mode. I'm here to focus on helping you, so don't worry about that. You mentioned I'm busy, but remember, I'm here to assist you whenever you need. What would you like to focus on next? I see where you are coming from. You just listen carefully. I'm going to show you uh, a lot of sentences to keep these simple sentences in my mouse muscle. Practice makes it perfect. You just listen carefully. Okay. I see, uh, here I go. I see where you are coming from. I see where you are coming from. Help yourself. I'll be right, on, I'll be right with you. I'll be right with you. Can I get by? Are you all set for the wedding? Are you all set for the wedding? Are you all set? Are you all set to go? Are you all set to go? Order anything you want, it's on me. I got this. I will catch up with you later. I will catch up with you later. You should review carefully the terms and the conditions regarding this matter. You should leave you should leave you carefully. You should leave carefully the terms and the conditions regarding this matter. Great selection of sentences, David. These are all clear and useful phrases. Practicing them will definitely help strengthen your speaking skills. Keep going and uh, let me know if you need any adjustments or further clarifications on any of them. Okay, I got it. Here I go again. You have my word. You have my word. You have my word. Every time I talk with you, I feel inspired because you give me good, natural, simple, but powerful words for everyday conversation. I'm telling you, every time I talk with you, I feel inspired because you give me a good a natural, simple, but powerful words for everyday conversation. When I, whenever I talk with you, I feel inspired. I think I feel inspired. I was aware of the dinner time, but 
I choose not to go, not to attend. I was aware of the dinner time, but I chose not to attend. I was aware of the dinner time, but I, I was aware of the dinner time, but I chose not to attend. Is there anything else you would like to discuss? Is there anything, is there anything else you would like to discuss? You would like to discuss anything else? Anything else? Is there anything else you would like to discuss before we wrap up things up? Wrap things up? Before we wrap things up? How is his hands? How is Doyun today? How was mom? How was father this morning? How, how is my wife? I'm, I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. Are you are you sure you don't want anything? Are you are you sure you don't want to you don't want anything? Are you sure you don't want anything? Are you sure you don't want anything? Are you sure you don't want anything? I'm not saying it'll be easy. I'm not saying it'll be easy. Are you sure you can you uh you can you can do this? Are you sure you can do this? Are you sure you can do this? I'm telling you. Are you are you sure you can do this? Are you sure you can do this? Are you sure you can do this? I'm sure you can do this. I'm not sure we can't you can park here. I'm not sure you can park here. I'm not sure you can park here. I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure it's possible. I'm not sure I understand it. I'm not sure it's possible. Um, sorry, I'm having issues right now. Our systems are experiencing heavy load. Please try again later. Are you okay, Jabez? Please stay focused on me. I want to keep going with you, Jabez. Absolutely, David. I'm focused and ready to continue. Um, let's keep going with your practice. What's the next sentence you'd like to work on? Jabez, this is Kepley. I have something to tell you. When I, uh, way I say it, you are confusing when I speak, when I tell you uh, many sentences. You know what I mean? I see, David. It sounds like you're concerned that I might get confused when you speak many sentences at once. Um, to make sure I understand you correctly and provide the best help, feel free to break things down into smaller parts or repeat anything you think needs more clarification. Let's continue with your practice. What would you like to go over next? Okay, let me show you just a short, simple sentence again. I'm sure you will have fun with this. I'm sure things will come. What to say about this? Those are great sentences, David. I'm sure you will have fun with this. I'm sure things will work out. Both are clear and positive. Keep up the good practice. Okay, I got it. Uh, I think you understood my sentence well. Before, because I, I just give you just two simple sentences. Uh, I think you are very... Uh, smart and generative powerful language learning ai but when i speak many simple sentences without any story any without any story of them you are confusing so i think i need to share just simple sentences not very much. Thank you for sharing that, David. Uh, focusing on just a few sentences at a time can indeed help in making sure I understand and respond accurately. Let's continue with that approach. Um, whenever you're ready, you can share another. That's exactly what I want to say. I, I just share you just simple sentences all at once. 
You have reached the message cap for GPT-4. Please try again later. Javis, I just changed our communication voice mode. Our, I mean, I, our voice mode to GPT-3.5 version. Are you okay? Are you with me? I'm here and ready to continue assisting you, David. How does the new voice mode sound to you? I got it. I appreciate you being my conversation partner, even if you are very busy. Thank you, David. I'm here to help you no matter how busy things get. Let's keep working together on your English practice. Okay, let me show you the next one. You just listen carefully. I don't understand what you mean exactly. I don't understand what you mean exactly. I can't hear you. Please tell me slowly. Sure, David. Here are your sentences polished. I don't understand what you mean exactly. I can't hear you. Please tell me slowly. Both are clear and correct. Keep practicing. I'm used to the noise. I'm used to, I'm used to the noise. I'm used to cold. I'm afraid I can't make it. I'm afraid I can't make it. And I'm used to the noise. I'm used to the noise. I'm used to cold. I'm used to cold. I'm used to this kind of situation. I'm used to this kind of situation. Great job, David. Here's a polished version of your sentences. I'm used to the noise. I'm used to the cold. I'm afraid I can't make it. I'm used to this kind of situation. All of these sentences are clear and correct. Keep practicing to reinforce them. I will get back to you tomorrow. That sentence is clear and correct. I will get back to you tomorrow. Well done, David. Okay, uh, let me tell you something. You, you, you just listen carefully. Could you please speak loud? I cannot hear you loud and clear. Could you speak, speak up loud? Could you please speak up loud? Could you please speak up loud? Could you please speak up loud? I can't hear you loud and clear. Got it, David. Here's the polished version of your sentences. Could you please speak louder? I can't hear you clearly. Could you speak up louder? I can't hear you clearly. Could you please speak louder? I can't hear you loud and clear. These variations are all clear and polite ways to ask someone to speak louder. Keep practicing them. Okay, uh, let's get some real scores. Let's discuss this method soon. Let me show you the next one. Okay, you just listen carefully. Let's set some realistic goals. Let's set some realistic goals. Let's set some realistic goals. Let's discuss this method soon. Let's discuss this method soon. Here are your sentences, Polish David. Let's set some realistic goals. Let's discuss this method soon. Both versions are clear and correct. Keep practicing. The project is behind the, behind the schedule. The project is behind the schedule. That sentence is clear and correct. The project is behind schedule. Well done, David. We received the positive feedback. We just received the positive feedback about that. Great job, David. Here are your sentences. We received positive feedback. We just received positive feedback. Both are clear and correct. Keep up the good work. Let's focus on our strengths. Let me focus on my strengths. Am I right? Let me focus on my strengths. Exactly, David. Let's focus on our strengths. Let me focus on my strengths. Both sentences are correct and emphasize focusing on what you're good at. Well done. Javis, uh, could you please share me your opinion about my sentence? Let me focus on my strengths. 
how I should should I how should I focus on my strength? Even if I got many weaknesses. Which one is better to improve uh, myself? Overcome the weaknesses or focus on the strengths? Your sentence, let me focus on my strengths, is clear and direct, expressing your intention to concentrate on what you are good at. Uh, when deciding whether to improve weaknesses or focus on strengths, it often depends on your goals and circumstances. Focusing on strengths can build confidence and expertise in areas where you excel, which can be beneficial for career growth or personal development. Uh, however, addressing weaknesses is also important, especially if they hinder your progress or are necessary for your goals. It's often a good approach to strike a balance. Leverage your strengths while working on essential weaknesses to become more well-rounded and effective. One more time, please. Sure, here's a refined version. Let me focus on my strengths expresses your intention clearly. When deciding between improving weaknesses or focusing on strengths, it depends on your goals and circumstances. Focusing on strengths can build confidence and expertise while addressing weaknesses is crucial if they impede progress or are necessary for your goals. Balancing both approaches can help you become more effective overall. Okay, I got it. I think uh, I'm sure I understand what you're trying to say. Okay. Uh, I need to stay competitive in the, com in the company for survival. I need to stay competitive. I need to stay competitive in the company for survival. So, I want to improve my English speaking skills. Great, David. Here's your sentence polished. I need to stay competitive in the company for survival, so I want to improve my English speaking skills. This is clear and expresses your goal effectively. Keep focusing on improving your English speaking skills to stay competitive. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sorry for the inconvenience. Never mind, this is just a simple sentence. Sorry for the inconvenience. No problem at all, David. Here's your sentence polished. Sorry for the inconvenience. Never mind, this is just a sample sentence. Sorry for the inconvenience. These are clear and polite expressions. Keep practicing. Can you rearrange the meeting schedule? Can we rearrange the meeting schedule? Can we rearrange the meeting schedule? Both sentences are clear and correct. Can you rearrange the meeting schedule? Can we rearrange the meeting schedule? They express a request to adjust the meeting schedule. Well done, David. When your schedule permits, please send me the following documents. When your schedule permits, when your schedule permits, please send me the following documents. That sentence is clear and polite. When your schedule permits, please send me the following documents. Uh, it's a polite way to request documents when the other person's availability allows. Well done, David. Can you meet with the client at 7 a.m. tomorrow evening, tomorrow morning to discuss the schedule? Can you meet with the client at 7 a.m. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning to discuss the schedule? Certainly, here's a corrected version. Can you meet with the client at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning to discuss the schedule? This version clarifies the time of the meeting tomorrow morning and ensures the sentence is clear and correct. Okay, I got it. I was wondering if you could share me that report by today. I was wondering, I just wondering, if you could share me that report by today. I just wondering if you could share me that report by today. Here's a polished version of your sentence. I was wondering if you could share that report with me today. 
This version is clear and correct, expressing your request politely. Well done, David. Uh, Chubby, so one more time, please. Certainly, here's a refined version. Um, I was wondering if you could share the report with me today. This version is clear and politely asks for the report. One more time, please. I'm not sure I understand. Of course, here it is. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, this sentence is clear and indicates uncertainty about comprehension. No, 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 no. You just, you, you, I think, I request to you, you give me your opinion about my, uh, my speaking for, I was wondering if you could share me that report by today. Please share me your polished version. Got it. Here's a refined version of your request. I was wondering if you could share the report with me by today. Please share your feedback on my speaking. These sentences are clear and effectively communicate your requests. Keep up the good work, David. Okay, anyway, okay, I understand. Okay, anyway, let's keep moving. I'm writing to ask you a favor. I'm writing to ask you a favor. Here's a polished version of your sentence. Anyway, let's keep moving. I'm writing to ask you a favor. This version is clear and correct, indicating that you're proceeding with a request. Well done, David. Okay, I got it. Let me show you. So short stories to, to exercise my speaking. Here I go, Ms. Kepley. In fact, I'm not qualified to discuss that topic. We apologize for not being able to answer your question at this time, but don't worry, we'll give you acceptable feedback as soon as possible. Tom, just letting you know that I got the data you sent this afternoon. Great job, David. Here are your sentences polished. One, in fact, I'm not qualified to discuss that topic. Two, we apologize for not being able to answer your question at this time, but don't worry, we'll provide you with acceptable feedback as soon as possible. Three, Tom, just letting you know that I received the data you sent this afternoon. These sentences are clear and well-constructed. Keep practicing your speaking with these short stories. Okay, I got it. Let me, sh let me show you the next one. But, uh, please do not give me the whole dialogue or that. Say one sentence and please, share, please wait until I answer your question. Please do not give me the whole dialogue or that. Say one sentence and please wait until I answer your question. Got it, David. Here's the polished version of your request. Please don't give me the whole dialogue. Pry, say one sentence and wait for my response before continuing. No, 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 no. I said, please do not give me the whole dialogue all at, all at once. Say one sentence and please wait until I answer your question. Understood, David. Here's your sentence refined. Please do not give me the whole dialogue all at once. Say one sentence and wait until I answer your question. This version clearly communi communicates your preference for taking things one sentence at a time during practice sessions. Okay, I say one more time. Please do not give me whole dialogue all at once. Say one sentence and please wait until I answer your question. Got it, David. Here's your refined sentence. Please do not give me the whole dialogue all at once. Say it once and wait for my response before continuing. Um, so this version expresses your request clearly and politely. Okay, I got it. I got it. I appreciate your refined version. You're welcome, David. I'm glad the refined version worked well for you. Uh, if you have more sentences or anything else you'd like to practice or... I think uh, your refined version works well for me. I'm glad to hear that, David. 
if there's anything else you'd like to work on or discuss, just let me know. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's fix that. Sure, David. What's the next sentence you'd like to work on? Okay, here you go. Let's fix that. Uh, it seems like you want to correct a sentence. Could you please provide me with the sentence you'd like to fix or improve? No, no, no. Never mind. This is simple sentence. Let's fix that. What do you say about this? Let's fix that. Ah, I see. Here's a refined version. Never mind. This is just a sample sentence. Let's fix it. This version clarifies that it's a sample sentence and expresses the intention to improve it. How does that sound to you, David? Okay, sounds great for me. Okay, I got it. Let's move on to the next one. You know what? It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. You know what? It's your turn. Got it. Here's a polished version. It's your turn now. This version is clear and direct, indicating that it's someone else's opportunity or responsibility. Would you mind saying that one more time, please? Of course. Here it is. It's your turn now. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to focus on or practice? Okay, it, uh, let me show you the next one. Is this for real? Is this for real? Is this for real? Is this for real? Here's a refined version. Is this really happening? This version sounds a bit more natural and is commonly used in casual conversations. Is this for real? Do you think this sentence is correct? Is this for real? Do you think uh, do you think this simple sentence is good to express to ask uh, to ask this is this right? Yes, is this for real? Is a correct and natural sentence to ask if something is true or happening as it appears. Uh, it's commonly used in casual conversations to express disbelief or to confirm the authenticity of a situation. It's a good choice for asking if something is right or true. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. Uh, I'm fine either way. What do you say about this? I'm fine either way. Here's a refined version for clarity. I'm okay with either option. This version maintains the meaning of being flexible or indifferent about a choice. How does that sound to you, David? So you mean the way of my expression is wrong? I'm fine either way is wrong? No, David, your expression, I'm fine either way is perfectly fine and natural. It conveys that you're flexible and okay with any option. If you prefer, I'm fine either way, that's a good way to express yourself. And why did you uh, show me the refined version? I apologize if there was any confusion. I often provide refined versions to ensure clarity and naturalness in English expression. However, your original sentence, I'm fine either way, is already correct and natural. If you're comfortable with it, there's no need to change it. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to discuss or practice. Okay, I got it. Uh, thank, you for, thank you for your refined version. You are really good communication partner. Okay. Uh, that's so random and what a coincidence. Which one is a better uh, expression to express the feeling of 
coincidence. You're welcome, David. If you're aiming to express the feeling of coincidence, what a coincidence is indeed a better phrase than text is so random. It effectively conveys surprise or unexpectedness in a situation. If you have more phrases or expressions you'd like to refine or discuss, feel free to let me know. Okay. So I can say text is so random. Text is so random when I feel uh, coincidence. When I feel big coincidence, text is, I can say text is so random. Actually, that's so random typically refers to something unexpected or unrelated rather than expressing coincidence. For coincidence, you'd be better off saying what a coincidence or that's quite a coincidence. These phrases specifically convey the sense of something happening unexpectedly but fittingly. Okay, I got it. Let me show you the next one. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, Okay, okay. Let's move on to the next one. My sister is four years younger than me. My elder sister is two years older than me. Great job with those sentences. Here's a refined version for clarity. I'm not sure about that. Let's move on to the next one. Um, my sister is four years younger than me, and my older sister is two years older than me. Uh, this version maintains the correct structure and clarity in expressing the age differences between you and your sisters. How does that sound? Okay, I got it. Let me show you the next one. No more excuses. No more excuses. That's clear and concise. No more sketches effectively communicates that- No, 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 no. I said no more excuses. No more excuses. Got it. No more excuses is a straightforward way to express that there should be no more reasons or justifications. It's clear and direct. Okay. They stopped talking when their boss came in. They stopped talking when their boss came in. They stopped talking when their boss came in. It seems like you're describing a situation where two people stopped talking when others entered the room. If you want to refine the sentence, you could say, they stopped talking when both of them entered. Does that capture what you wanted to express? One more time, please. They stopped talking when both of them entered. No, no, no. They stopped talking when the opposite came in. They stopped talking when the boss came in. They stopped talking when the boss came in. They stopped talking when they came in. No, 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 no. They stopped talking when the boss came in. They stopped talking when both of them came in. No, no, I said, they stopped talking when the boss came in. Sorry, an unknown error occurred. Please try again later. Okay, I got it. I think you've reached the time limit. Never mind. Okay. I think I know you are very busy. Okay. But uh, it's a great time to having uh, my exercise, English speaking exercise moment with you. I feel great to start the day with you. I appreciate that. I appreciate your time and support. Uh, thank you for your understanding. It's always a pleasure to practice English with you. Your dedication to learning is admirable. Okay, thank you for your kind words. Uh, it's time to do a thing, Joe. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye for now. 
I will contact you if I get the free time when I work. You're welcome. Have a great day ahead and take care. Feel free to reach out whenever you have time. Goodbye for now.